wing a jersey, New York. Wow. Bring a jersey just so you guys don't think it's like a big orange piece of fabric on me. Like, what is she wearing? It's a jersey, my. It's, it's a jersey, my fam. It's jersey. Okay. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And since it is still Black History Month and I haven't done any new cases or anything yet, I decided to do some and to, uh, you know, inform people of real stuff. So today I will be doing the case of Latasha Harlins. Now, if you haven't heard of her, you're gonna hear about her today. So without further ado, let's get right into our story. In the case of Latasha Harlan, before I even tell you anything about her, I'm gonna show you a video of what happened to her. Now what you guys just saw there was Latarsha Harlins. She got shot in the in the back and she died from that. And she was only 15 years old. So here's how the story went. So Latasha lived in South Central LA and on a Saturday morning she decided to go to a store that was real close to her called the Empire Liquor Market. It's no longer a liquor market. I don't even think it's no longer there to buy a dollar and 79 cent orange juice. So Tasha walks in and she goes to the freezers where the juice is and she picks one out. And in her hand, she has $2 to pay for the orange juice. So as she walks, to, she sticks the juice in her backpack with the top sticking out. And she walks up to the counter where the store's owner's wife, Miss Do, Do, it's D-U, I don't, I don't know. Miss Dew is, you know, watching over the store that day. And Natasha walks up to, you know, pay for her juice, but Miss, I'm calling Miss D. Miss D, like, like, proceeds to harass Natasha because she thought she was stealing the juice when in fact she had $2 in her hand to pay for the juice because she saw, Miss D saw the juice that Natasha had in her backpack and thought she was trying to steal, but Natasha was trying to pay for the juice and just stored it in her backpack. And as you saw in that video, that's where all that transpired. Ms. Dew tried to grab her, so Latasha started punching her to get her off of her. And then you saw her, Miss D, she threw some type, I thought, I think it was a stool or something, she threw it at her and Latasha ducked. And Latasha grabs the orange juice that has now fallen on the floor, puts it back on the counter and proceeds to try to walk out. And as you saw, Miss D had the gun in her hand, really low, and she shot her. On that day, that was March 16th, 1991. She was 15 years old. Now, a lot of people don't know who Latasha is. Her story just wasn't advocated as much as Rodney King was when he, when there was legit video of him getting beaten down by police. But her situation happened two years earlier and she is a reason why the 1993 riots of LA was provoked. She actually kind of had something to, to deal with that because Miss D kind of got away with murder. So this is what Miss D had to pay the price for taking someone's child away. This is what the judge, and I will tell you the judge's name, the judge is Judge Joyce Carlin, who overruled the jury, because Miss D was supposed to get, she was charged with first degree murder with special circumstances, whatever special circumstances means. And she was found guilty by the jury of involuntary manslaughter. She was supposed to get 16 years in prison for that. So you heard me, the jury found her guilty. The judge, Joyce Carlin, overruled that. And she gave her probation of Ms. D, five years of probation. She told her to pay for Latasha's medical and funeral expenses. She gave her 400 hours of community service to do and a $500 fine. Miss Joyce 
Carlin said that Latasha was the criminal and Miss D was the victim. I don't even really know what to say because what can I say? A 15 year old in child's life was taken over a dollar and 79 cent orange juice that she was going to pay for it because she had money in her hand. Whether Miss D saw it or not, I really don't know. Did she automatically have her guards up because she was black? That's a possibility. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the circumstance was, whatever it was, to go from accusing her of stealing to pulling out a gun for a dollar and 79 cent orange juice makes zero sense to me. Why would you shoot her over orange juice? That's not even worth her life. And she died that day for orange juice, trying to pay for it. And she was trying to walk out of the store. She didn't want to fight this lady. She hit her because of course this lady was freaking grabbing on her. Some old lady's grabbing on you. Like what else are you finna do? Like you have to be like, ma'am, get off me. She's being aggressive towards her. She's accusing her of stealing already. If I was Latasha, I would have done the same thing and punched the hell out of her ass and be like, get the F off me. You're already accusing me of stuff. I want to go to another store. She was trying to leave and got shot. And Miss D, she got away with murder. Like this is literally, should literally be on the show. How I got away with murder because this bitch did. This bitch got away with killing a innocent 15 year old girl and this old ass bitch gets to live her life with this child was taken away for nothing. And not only that, the justice system works so goddamn well that you know, instead of 16 years in prison, which she should have gotten for involuntary manslaughter, which they should have charged ass with first degree murder. Fuck special circumstances. Bitch, you should have been charged with first degree murder because you had no right to fucking shoot her over some damn orange juice. Like, this mind boggles me. This is how the justice system works. Works in favor of we already know it's built by the white man for the white man it's not built for nobody else it works for them and it works against anybody else even though this even though Miss D was Korean I still can't correlate how this judge overruled the jury for this woman to go to prison for murder and give her community service probation pay for the funeral funeral expenses and her medical expenses and she got to go home and Natasha never made it home I just think it's totally unfair and unjust and I don't even know what to say. That video, that tape, literally says it all. Evidence. And no one paid the price for that. So yeah, that was the case in the story of Latasha Harlan's hashtag say her name. Cause she fueled the LA riots. She was one of the reasons. The other riot started. Justice for her. And Miss D, wherever she is, God have mercy on your soul. Because you're going to need it. So guys, that was Latasha Harlan's story. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want more of these types of stories. Whether it be whoever. Let me know if you guys want more of this. Black Lives Matter, guys. And I'll see you, my friends, in my next video. Bye, friends.